All right, all right. Hello and welcome back. Today's course, we're going to be talking about how to tap tempo. Uh, this is really good if you have a quick idea in your head and you really don't, don't know the tempo or if maybe somebody else sends you something and you just want to have an idea, get started something, you're just like, what's the tempo to this real quick? So this is a good way to get started. And it's almost like a hidden feature that's not really uh, talked about or advertised much than uh, Logic Pro. So I'm going to show you right now how to do tap tempo in three easy steps. Let's get started. Okay, for step one, to set up your tap tempo, we need to enable the sync and tap tempo function. And in order to do that, what we want to do is go over and hit file, go down to project settings, and then synchronization. And from here, you just go to sync mode and enable the box that says auto enable external sync and tap tempo. And that is step number one. Okay, for step number two, we want to assign a key command. All right, so let's close out our box. And there's more than one way that we can set up our key commands. The most fastest way and what I like to use most of the time and what professionals are using are the hot keys. And the hot key for your key command is option K. And you press option K and that will bring up your key commands. If you don't remember your key commands, your smart keys off bat, don't worry. They'll come with, with it over time. The other way to find it is just to simply go up to logic, go to key commands and press edit. And that will pull up your key commands. And once you pull up your key commands, go to your search and let's search tap tempo. And we can see our tap tempo is over here under your global commands. So we'll click that and we'll come over here to our key box. And as you can see, it said learn by key label. Now this is where you tap in whatever your favorite key command is. It can be something that's usually not used already as a hot key. What I'll use is my control and spacebar. So I'll press that. And as you can see, it just labeled that as my new key command. That's your step number two. Okay, and for step number three, we're ready to see if it works. So let's close this out. And as you can see, we have 120 as my BPM. So let's try our hot key. My hot key was control and spacebar. So I'll press control and let's just say I'm doing a, a beat. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom. So I press control and press the space bar when I'm ready. Three, four, doom, 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 doom. So you can see it, it's going right there. Three, four, doom, 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 doom. And it picked up my tempo. So let's try it again just to make sure everything works. I'll press control and my space bar. And you want to press it four times to for it to lock in. And on the fifth time, Logic will automatically lock in that tempo that you set. So let's try out, let's try a fast tempo. Let's go. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. And you can see the tempo went up to 108 right here. Doom, 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 doom. And you see it's 108.3276, blah, 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 blah. We usually don't like to use those decimals too much. So I'll just double click and I'll go 108, press enter, and I have a solid tempo, but at least now I have a general idea with the tap tempo enabled. And that is your three easy steps to enable tap tempo.